I just spent $20,000 on the brand new Panini Basketball Flawless product, which has some of the most rarest, most expensive basketball cards in the world. And man, did I hit big. I mean, really big. Turns out sports trading cards are booming during the pandemic with record sales on vintage cards, high prices for new cards, and an influx of collectors. And rare finds like LeBron James is going for thousands. See now, I myself have been collecting trading cards since I was a kid. You know, I recently just found in my old storage unit Kevin Durant rookie cards. LeBron James rookie cards. LeBron James rookie. Even Kobe Bryant rookie cards. I miss you, Kobe. Now, while I see my collection as prized possessions, I also started to see and learn how sports trading cards can also be looked at as investments. Yeah, you can make a lot, a lot, and a lot of money, like millions of dollars. Now, you guys have seen the likes of Logan Paul pull millions of dollars worth of Pokemon cards. I mean, if you guys thought Pokemon cards were hot, the highest sold card as of right now is a 1998 Japanese promo card, Hollow Illustrator Pikachu, which sold for $375,000. You wanna know the highest sold basketball card? It's a LeBron James rookie patch autograph, which sold for $5.2 million. Now that's just basketball. We're not even talking about baseball, football. Sports cards in general have more value than Pokemon cards. Just let that sink in for a second. Wow. Now personally, I don't like to buy cards in singles. That's, that's just no fun. I like to test my luck either buying boxes to rip myself or I go into live streams, also known as breaks, and buy spots. First up, first up, hey, four out of five. So what is a break? A break is a live stream where a person, also known as a breaker, live streams them opening a product that you purchase for you. Yes, they open a product for you. And then, once they're done opening the product, they properly package it and ship it to you immediately. It's a lot of fun. Now, there are a ton of great sports card breakers in the game, but when it comes to the high-end products, I only have one breaker that I trust, and that is Rip and Wax. So right off the bat, boom! I sent Rippin' Wax $13,000 for his flawless Panini basketball briefcase. Now this briefcase includes 10 cards. Two of those cards are known as super rare hits. Those are supposed to be your big dollar cards, but it's not for everybody. And after seeing all the cards I pulled from my flawless briefcase, in reality, guys, I lost money. A lot of money. I was, quite frankly, disappointed. Now, I haven't had any luck pulling high-end auto rookie cards the past few years, and a lot of rookies nowadays don't even sign on card or even sign stickers at all. Actually, now that I think about it, I pulled a LaMelo Ball Redemption autograph card in my last video that I posted a year ago, and I still haven't received that card. <laughs> But that's what's great about this flawless product. In this product, the only product all year round will there be the top players, rookies, on card autos, live, in the product for me to pull. That's why I waited and spent all this money for that one chance. That one chance to pull the rookie of my dreams. You might have heard of him. LaMelo Ball. LaMelo Ball. LaMelo Ball. Point guard like LaMelo. LaMelo. Every kid in America loves LaMelo Ball. I've been following LaMelo Ball's journey since he was in high school. We've played pickup basketball together. He's dunked on my best friend. I've watched his journey all the way up until he reached the NBA, drafted number three, then he becomes Rookie of the Year. And now, he's a ball star, baby. He's an NBA all-star. From the Charlotte Hornets, LaMelo Ball! Now, I already lost a lot of money in the first briefcase, so I couldn't afford to buy another briefcase myself. So I ended up splitting it with somebody that was in the live stream. But not just anybody. It was Conor McGregor's manager, Keyline. 
So we each bought five spots in a 10 spot hit draft. Now what is a hit draft? A hit draft is a break split into spots that is then randomized to decide the draft order. But in this case, this draft was a little bit different all because this product is a $20,000 product. So what we decided, the two of us, was whoever gets the first spot gets the best card in the entire briefcase. We have no idea what's in the briefcase yet. And then whoever gets the second spot gets the other nine cards. So there's a lot on the line, guys. So I put on a LaMelo jersey for good luck, and we open the second briefcase. The first nine cards in the briefcase were cool, but definitely not worth what we paid for. And then this happened. Go! Can I get a shut it down? Shut it down! But there's a catch. It's not my card yet. We still have to randomize. Now, because this was such an expensive product, Keli and I were talking amongst the chat in the live stream suggesting that we just both take the dubs here and walk out as winners and split the card. We take the Lomelo card and we split however much we sell it for. And you know, maybe we make our money back, maybe. And I thought, I didn't just come all this way to split. I didn't just hoop with them every day in Chino Hills and my best friend get boomed on and baptized just to come here in this moment and split a LaMelo Ball 3 of 3 autograph on card rookie card. Roll the dice. So we rolled it. <laughs> so then it comes down to a coin flip to decide who gets the one or two spot. Boom. I call tails. It was heads. Lost the fucking coin flip. Keila, you want the one or two, guys. That's all it is, the one or two, man. That's all it is. Keli picks number two. I mean, that's what I would have done. LaMelo Ball, jersey number two. Okay, I see how we're playing, Keli. That's fine. Because <laughs> guess what? He was also number one. So I put the right jersey on. Number one, baby. That's what we want. The number one spot at the end of the roll. So now it's the dice roll. You have to roll at least a five. Rip and Wax rolls the dice. It's a five. I only have five randomizes to get the LaMelo ball in my hands. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the roll. Five times, we're not hiding anything. The first one, I was the number two. The second one, number two again. The three, number two. The four, my number two again. And it was the fifth. It's coming home. So I waited and waited until Rip and Wax was able to fly down himself and hand deliver the LaMelo ball car. It's supposed to be here. It's coming today. Well, it's coming home. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Chris, Ooh. my man. First time, my man. Oh my man. gosh, come in, come in. Woo, it's here. <laughs> Mellow, baby, it's time, it's time. It's time to look at this bad boy. Cheers, LaMelo! Chris, I gotta know. The people gotta know. What is this card worth right now? That card right Keep there. Keep in mind, he is an NBA All-Star now. When we opened this, he wasn't an All-Star yet. So he did get picked to the team later on. I think that adds to the value, but overall, Melo being the young talent, the star that he is, that's anywhere from twenty-five to fifty thousand dollars, my man. Whatever Un somebody's unrated? willing to pay for it. Auto. That's the new auto too. That's I his think new it's, auto. It, it's perfect placement too. It's not like touching anything like odd. PSA ten. What would this? What would this be? Woo! PSA ten. I'm already sweating over here. Woo! <laughs> Woo! -hoo. I'm sweating. I take this special PSA ten. That value in that card, that could hit like golden auction, and who knows? 
six figures or miss 75 70 maybe maybe even 100 grand. who knows you never know again whatever someone's willing to pay but i will tell you this a 10 will increase the value of that tenfold and i mean it's already 25k just like how it is Oof. i gotta i gotta put this down I, I, listen i think for the video we gotta walk through psa you know, walking through PSA? Walking through PSA. What? So we drove three hours to the PSA headquarters unannounced with no appointment or any names to get us in. Hi, here to, for PSA to potentially walk through a card. Do you have an appointment? Uh, I should. I just wanted to get the card graded immediately. And funny enough, someone from PSA recognized me as they were telling me to leave. Good basketball with you at 24, like five years ago. Oh shit, that's crazy, small world. How's it going? Can't take any videos or pictures. Okay. And you guys won't believe the grade I got. 